everybody chooses a place. Say your choice out loud to the last of the players before clicking. Also, welcome back to Best Buds. Also, welcome back to Best Buds. Are you guys enjoying anime? It's Ooh, March, month? bitch. It's March. Are you bitch. guys enjoying Monster Prom March? My, it's actually June when we're recording this. My place no. that I'm choosing <laughs> is a place that I'm currently quite mad at, which is the Monster Prom Cafeteria, or Monster High Cafeteria. All right. Great, I'm going to go with the Leaf Village. <laughs> Leaf Village? <laughs> Isn't that my, the one where Boruto's dad lives? Give me my headband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Wendy's. Like the fast food chain? Yep. All right. I've had to think about this long and hard. Uh -huh. So you're just thinking about it now? No, I was yep. going to say Kakariko Village. Okay. Yeah. Player order is decided based on how hilarious it would be if the Huns were once again trying to conquer the world, and due to their ignorance of the present time, they prioritize conquering this place because they're sure it holds great strategic value. Um, the village hidden in the leaves. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no matter what. Great village. I'm, I'm going to go with Meower Taft on that one yes. pretty easily. And then um, Wendy's. Yeah, I'm also going to say Wendy's is a pretty... Uh... Wendy the Hunt. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's a very strategic place to start taking over the world. Yeah. She Wendy's. That's fine. How yeah. do they get the burgers to be square? That's what they need to learn, Kyle. Why don't they use a square bun? Because they don't grow from the trees <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, Have you ever seen stupid. a square bun, Kyle? Right. And uh, where, where do you go? What, what was yours? The Monster Prom Cafeteria. Uh, I mean, that would definitely be the first place that's attacked. So I'm going to go with me. But that's what it is. The, first, the place that would be attacked. <laughs> no, it said the best strategic place. Actually, if they just used King's <coughs> Hawaiian buns, so many less people yeah, would be mad. Yeah. Nick, I don't know why you, you did that to me right there. You do it to me like every game player playthrough. I literally <laughs> just gave you the shop. Money. Last round. <laughs> oh. That day, money. Money, 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 money. Minus 10 Karno, but plus money. Tammy, when did you get here? Hey there, cutie pie. Later, you <laughs> see Damien and Miranda chatting and being a nosy little bitch. You decide to insert yourself into the conversation. I look forward to this adventure, so is there any more wonderful... Oh. Is there anything more wonderful than getting insight to the lives of commoners? You brother not pull that shit the whole time. <laughs> My dad's uh, the Lord of Hell, you know. Technically, I am royalty too. Ellipses. Are you though? Damien rolls his eyes and turns to you. Me print here prepared us up for the hands-on homework assignment. Going on an adventure. Apparently, I have some anger issues <laughs> and a thirst for violence that I should be channeling into a something productive. Like, I thought for violent isn't productive in and over too. And I'm supposed to work on being more independent. Which is strange, since I told my ladies and gentlemen in waiting to fix me... to fix that for me last week. I wonder what sort of adventure might give us the wonderful experience we need to fix our... perceived. Did, did I read that? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, to fix our perceived, but obviously non-existent flaws. Go on a deep sea quest to steal beautiful pearls from a scaly kraken. <laughs> Or journey to a volcano to have a hot time at a fire method strip club. Let's see. I mean, I know one what one Laura would pick. One is fun and one is bold. Fun! Fuck yeah, volcano hooker! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's my new ringtone for whenever Laura texts me. Great. <laughs> I cannot pretend to condone sex work. Fuck you, Miranda. That's valid. <laughs> but that's what makes it so fun. <laughs> I get to feel so morally superior and holier than thou. Is I art persona. Yeah, and I can ignore you feeling morally superior in order to stare at naked fire methods. Volcano hookers. <laughs> and then I'll make you independent. Yes, and you will curtail your passion for violence because it will be redirected to the passion for romancing fire methods. Fire Muppets. Romance. <laughs> Fire Muppets? <laughs> right. <laughs> Surely you wish to see them naked so you'll know who is the most marriageable and whom to court. Not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, they're off to find a properly seedy volcano. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Oh, girl. We going to Wendy's. Officer. Gentlemen. <laughs> Officer O'Ryan. That's almost Officer O'Brien. <sighs> oh, my stats are pretty I miss him. He's undercover. Let's get... Where do you go for fun? Undercover.
the tree. The tree. <laughs> Later that night, you head out to the club with Polly and Liam. Damn it, I already forgot his bad voice. Using your fake IDs, also known as Polly's boobs, you have no problem getting into the door. <laughs> the real trouble begins when you get to the bar and Polly starts teasing Liam. I'm telling you, boy, you have got no game. And I'm telling you that I reject the, lo the ludic sexual paradigm underlying your assertion. All I'm saying is that if you are really as cool as you act all the time, you should have no problem getting digits from that gender indeterminate locust swarm down at the end of the bar. Ooh. <laughs> well, of course I could, if I wanted to. But you see, the key to my allure is that I don't want anything. Sounds to you like Liam's just scared. You decide to go over there and show them both how it's done, bye. Coating yourself with insect pheromones. Don't go after people. Make people go after you. Dancing so hard that you also separate into a cloud of locusts. Uh, How fun are you? So he's, he's pee fun. fun. But the first one also sounds like smarts. What would Polly want? That doesn't matter. It's just a stat check. That's true. Dancing so hard. Yeah, so fun. Okay, you dance until your body is swore in a swarm of locusts. This is no problem for you. The hot young locust swarm at the end of the bar is impressed, and so is Polly. See, Liam, all you gotta do is dance until it is physically alters the composition of your body. But I can only turn into bats. Or rather, bat. One bat, not even a swarm. Oh, he's all blushy. Oh, uh, it's all right, dude. We can't be totally flippin' awesome. While Polly comforts Liam, you manage to secure a party for afterwards at the Locust Swarm's house. Even a couple of rich mummies from out of town join. At school the next day, everyone at school is talking about how you can apparently turn into bugs. Awesome! You gain plus two more funds and plus one more charm. Cheater. Oh, you did it all last game. Don't get huffy. Girl, stop um, it. Once again, Colin is saying no. I have proof. It's on literal Why video. did you go back to the shop? Fuck! Ah! You went, you yeah. I didn't want to be here. I wanted creativity. Well, wow. You fool. Oh, wait, Not always did you incorrectly take the turn. Things are different. Things are different. What well, is? You know what? I'm going to risk it because it's the beginning of the level. Is that drugs? No. No, it's... We'll, we'll it would be, but one. Oh, no, I think that's can't. Scott's pile I think that might cocaine. override my other gift, though. What? Like, I don't want it to get rid of my police report. Well, gee, you shouldn't have taken the shop then. Would it? Would it? Oh, Good you, call can, you can always cat. just leave. Well, I guess I wasted my turn, so Kyle got what he wanted anyway. Uh, no, I didn't. I can't go there. Oh. You well, took you just it. Just go with lunch. I'll let you have it. You're right. Oh, turn. thanks. What a pal. You're welcome. Wow, what a dick. At least I have one. There's no proof of that, and never will be. All right, when I blow this one, you can't blame me in the comments section. You can blame Nick. Mm. Hey, Laura, I wanted to ask you something, Ashley. Yeah. Um... With, when Polly's wearing her shorts, are those like her pockets sticking out of the bottom, or what's that? Like, is that a style that I just don't know what it is? Yeah, those are pockets. Those hey, are pockets, okay. Lord Ison, I didn't Pokemon. expect to see you here. Don't you love that spooky eye? You have so many friends, and you never know who's gonna show up to. Here's, Here's the, the plan, plan for, for today, today girls. girls. Ah, it's the coven. Joy, hope, and faith. You, you know, know our names? names? Of course. It's so cool to see you guys. Say the thing, say the thing. What, what thing? thing? The thing, the thing, you know, the thing. Say it, say it! Say the thing! Uh, we're here to save the world. Read, Laura. No. <laughs> ah, so great. Remember when I was trapped in a totem? Remember that? And you guys were all, don't you understand what you bought from that shop? Your totem is a gourd, rule of the dark realms, age of destruction. You must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Yeah, yeah sorry, sorry about, about that. that. No, are you kidding? That was awesome! And then someone stepped in and succeeded or failed at something? I don't really remember. I've lived through so many events and things in my life, it's hard to keep them straight. So the point is, it's all fine now. Now we're on the same page, I'm totally ready to join the coven. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Don't, don't get, get us wrong. wrong. It's, it's nice, nice for someone to appreciate how hard we work to keep the world safe instead of trying to belittle and or sabotage, sabotage us, us. But, but you, you can't can just... just... Nick, come on, man. What? You didn't read. I, I I very clearly said the word. All four of us just didn't. Thank you. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Look who it is. We meet again. <laughs> e 
This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Dimitri! No, wait, I changed my voice. Oh, oh my god. My ears, my ears are bleeding. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? It's what are you and why are you? What are you? Why are you? You have to Batista hard there. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, uh, I'm a totem. I mean, I was a totem. I was a high school girl. No, I am a high school girl. Sorry, I just, oh gosh. So listen, I know most people are all about that Dimitri life where they assume that the reason you often turn up for the good side for bad again is because you're deep forbidden love for Joy. Never. Joy means nothing to me. I feel nothing for her. I feel nothing ever at all. A beautiful manly tear trickles down Dimitri's face as he stares into the distance. <laughs> right, yeah, totally. But I've always been rooting for Ho-Mitri, as in you getting together with Hope. Not like Ho-Mitri from my fanfic where you're forced to work on a brothel. <laughs> I'm here for one reason, and one reason only. To take from the coven their cursed bloodstone. I take no pleasure from seeing their smiling faces, and I will take no sorrow in seeing their corpses. Ah, fine. Okay, coven, how are we going to defeat them? You're, You're not, not in, in the, the coven, coven, Zoe. But at that point, everything around Dimitri has caught fire somehow. The deadly glow lights up dark, but very sexy smile. Time to find a way to get out of this whilst getting Zoe into the coven. Lick his abs. Never. Lick. See, that's the one that screwed me last time. <laughs> Let's join the coven by being like the coven. Let's defeat Dimitri in the classic way. You like cliched but powerful heroic one-liners. Or lick Dimitri's abs because of reasons. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> right, right, right. Yelling things does seem to be one of their more effective moves. That's, that's so reductive of the hard work we do saving, saving the, the world. world. You don't care. Most of the work they do interrupts those sweet, sweet prom shenanigans you engage in. The engagement to try and woo one of your most charismatic classmates. So you jump in with your best coven impression. Justice will triumph. We're here to save the world. Fiends before fiends. Okay, okay those, those were, were actually, actually pretty, pretty good. good. Ha! Pretty good. Indeed, as good is exactly what I intend to destroy. And also, I am very pretty. So there is that. I want to date him. Yes. Though your, your dark soul may try, try to snuff out our light, light we will always, always light, light the match of truth and goodness. goodness. Damn it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a voice. Help out. Uh, I was going to get Oh, I want to try. Me. Can I try? Let me try. Vile creature of darkness. Zoe opens up her mouth and blood gushes forth, flooding the room. Oh, and here's another good one. She opens her mouth again and a swarm of scarabs flies onto Dimitri. What? No! My precious corporate form. I shall not be eaten by bugs! Not today. These creatures will not consume my flesh the way my heart was once consumed by... No! It is in the past now. Never again. Darkness is my calling. That was horrifying. Horrifyingly awesome. Yeah. Dots. Actually, Actually yes. yes. I, I guess, guess you, you could, could be, be an honorary, honorary coven, coven member. member. For today, at least. Aww. Wow. It's all thanks to you, Lord Hoisin. <laughs> Can't wait to have more coven adventures. Wow, that might actually not be terrible? Maybe? Did Zoe just make the coven cool? For now, at least. You know what else is cool? Plus two charm and plus one fun. That weekend. Something happened to... Meow, we're Taft. Yeah! Always. Meow, yeah. we're Taft. Meow, we're Taft. Is there any better way to spend a Saturday night than hanging out with four of your coolest friends? Oh. And also, Blura and Lord Hoisin are there as well. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> the dulcet tones of death metal fill the air. Blood and fire run her down! Fire and heavy on this town! Shrieking devils come to save sheetless go right from the day! That's <laughs> 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 It's charming. I want songs. No. That's I want to kill time. all the dissidents. I want to hear, want to hear that them, want to hear them screaming, flailing around those. What's the word again? Oh, stakes which to their tide for burning. Zoe then gets up and opens her mouth, only to have a chorus of fruit bats fly out. <laughs> From the applause she gets, though, it seems pretty popular, or at the very least, more popular than Liam's. Choice. Oh no, I read that as applesauce. I will now recite the complete works of Franz Kafka backwards at triple speed over the sounds of sheep being slaughtered and spice up your life being played simultaneously. Perfect. 
And now it's your turn to karaoke. You need to impress your classmates, and ever since you bombed that Mamma Mia open call by singing eight bars of Natasha Bedingfield's <laughs> unwritten <laughs> up the octave, <laughs> you've been a little skittish about your voice. It's time to distract them by breaking out the legendary ancient pop song a B A B C B, a pop song so complex that its rhyme schemes are said to be nigh incomprehensible to the untrained mind. Damn. It is a legendary duet that requires such mouth finesse that if done wrong, it can severely injure the singer's tongues. But who could be as reckless as you all just forgetting some of your classmates' figurative and maybe not so figurative? ass. <laughs> you must choose a karaoke partner for the ages. You must pick the boldest of the bold. Who shall it be? I don't actually know my boldness numbers, Whose so I can't really boldness is higher? I don't know. Blora made a name for herself on the dangerous underground karaoke scene of the streets of Hong Kong, or Lord Hoisin, <laughs> who is so reckless nice. that he karaoke's without I love that. Nick, what is your boldness? It's <laughs> not me. I can't see it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember mine. I know I got I got boldness previously, but I don't know that I have a lot because I haven't focused on it. I honestly Choices don't remember. Yours and yours uh, alone. All right, you know, let's just go with Lord Hoisin. Is it because of the helmet? It's because of the helmet. Boom. Yeah, so bold. You and Lord Hoisin head to the bathroom for a quick warm up, doing some trills and scales. Everyone in there hates you, but <laughs> you both know the importance of vocal health. It's important, y'all. This is followed by some tongue twisters in which you and Lord Horson grab each other's tongues and pull them out as far of your mouths as you can, tying them in knots before and un then untangling them. It's better, it's than, do it. awkwardly it's better than doing air bikes on Dan's floor. It's not, not better. <laughs> Isn't that just like what you guys do normally? Yes, yep, literally. Once you've sufficiently warmed up, you and Lord Horson ascend to the stage, take the mics and begin your epic performance of ABABCD. A spectacularly beautiful, a song that melts everyone's hearts. Literally, everyone's hearts melt and seep through the pores out of their skin and lay on the floor in giant puddles. Luckily, that's during the second B section of the song, and part of the C bridge is landing all the melted hearts into a bowl and feeding it back to the audience once more as soup. By the final B section, everyone's hearts have returned to their rightful place, now filled with love, admiration, and awe for Meow Taft and Lord Hoisin, who gained plus two charm and plus one creativity. Blammo. Ba boom Hey, that's what you get when you karaoke without a helmet. Trade places. <laughs> Daniel, go! Everybody chooses a part of their body. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. My skeleton hand. Navel. Achilles tendon. Catheter. That's not that's a body not a part. Body not part. for you. you for anybody. Fine. The thing that goes into your penis hole is your body part? Yeah, it's part oh. of my penis. You, so your urethra, you want the urethra. No, that one's boring. I'm going to go with my fat neck. Good. Right. That's way better. Yeah. Yeah. Should have led with your fat neck. Turkey neck. He does lead Play with his turkey neck. Player orders decided based on <laughs> how first bearable thing that enters it would be to live from now on with an extra unit of that part of your body attached to your forehead. I could easily have my neck fat on my forehead. So you would have a neck fat on your forehead. Yeah. Laura would have a... What was yours again? Achilles tendon Achilles on her forehead. Tendon on her yeah, forehead. I feel like you might die really fast. Why? I would you know have what a. When you sever an Achilles tendon. I would have a belly yeah. button on my forehead, and you would have <laughs> my skeleton hand on my forehead. I think it's... honestly the most bearable would probably be the belly button. Yeah, so, that seems super unintrusive. Yeah, I was thinking also, that the belly button or the neck fat or the, the two that I'm Well, thinking. I was going to say the belly button I like because you can actually keep Skittles in there. Good, because I already picked them. Yeah, I would say belly button and then probably neck fat because then Nick would never have to karaoke without a helmet again. That's oh, true. No, that was Kyle. Yeah, that, well, you would well, be able I'm to fit saying, a helmet. That way you'd be better. Yeah, you that's could, fair. That's you could, fair. in the words of Nick, get good. I could get good. All right, so Achilles tendon or skeleton hand? Okay, I, if you could use the skeleton hand, that would be cool. That yeah. would be awesome. So so I, I, would, I would like play the hand. piano with my head or some shit. Or just hold a drink. I mean, you can't play the piano normally. I know. <laughs> uh, how about I just click random since I'm stuck on random and who cares? You can't because it'll randomize everything. Yeah, I think uh, I think you have to go back. Oh. What do you want? Uh, uh, Kyle and then me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, Lloyd Horse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Nick, you wanna go ahead and fuck me over like eight yeah, times? Yeah, it's Lord Horse Dog. Dog. <laughs> is, is the controller working? Oh, Ryan. The gym is the shop, just letting everybody know. That's fine, I don't wanna go to the gym. 
You, you didn't want to go to the shop last time either. No. Oh, wait, you're going to go to the shop, aren't you? What? No. I want okay, cool. to be bold. I think what I need bold? more money. Uh, bathroom. The bathroom. That's what I thought. Hey, did you guys know that blah, 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 blah? Oh, shit, you're right. Later, you see that Polly is even more excited than usual, and you decide to see what's going on. You know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. Get it? And I think I finally figured it out. Who I really am, I mean. My spirit emoji. I love it's her poop. jacket, by the way. I think a lot of people would say I'm like the winking ghost emoji or the flag of Ecuador emoji, <laughs> but those are just who I am on the outside, you know? If only it was Portugal. My real spirit emoji it's is gone. the pink heart with a blue arrow through it. It's like, I'm sweet, right? But I've also got a dark side. Plus, an arrow through it, the heart is how I was killed. I thought she died in a literature club. She says a lot of things. I think oh. you plus Polly equals Gina Linetti. She was I also a famous chef who was murdered. I oh, she was a lot of things. What about you? What is your spirit emoji? The kimono emoji. My spirit emoji <laughs> is pink heart with a ribbon around it because it's right next to yours in the selection menu. Aw. Damn. My spirit emoji <laughs> is air horn, loud and proud and big into hip hop. Damn it, that's All the right, Danis dancer. Yeah, it really is. Yep. Air horn, <laughs> that is a great choice. <laughs> Man, I love it. I'm listening to a sick pop song, and all of a sudden, air horn, air horn, air horn! It really keeps the party going. <laughs> Damn it. We should hang out more. If you're anything like an air horn, I bet you never <laughs> get annoying. Yeah, you're air horn funny, which is a good thing. You gain plus two fun of us on Charm, Daniel. Oops, sorry, Beans. Hello. <laughs> all right. He punched now. her in the back. I just want to clear this with you. Don't no go shopkeeper. to no the gym. That's what I want. What? Or do I want charm? Well, is I don't, it in the gym? It I don't know. I don't know. I learn better. Yeah. Yeah, the charm is the gym. I, I don't know charm what. Too. I don't know what your special ending is, so I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know either, but my charm looks like it got a hit. But regardless, blah 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 blah. Hopper dapper, hopper dapper. To creativity. I thought you were going to the gym for char. Well, he can't. The that is where the shorts is. There. I know. I made the same mistake two times. I was, I was doing comedy. Oh, I see. You're trying to figure out what to do with the police report you just stupidly bought, when suddenly Vera shows up to answer that exact stupid question. Officer Swanson. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Mother sent your soldier a police report. I should say. She could have just given it to me directly without charging you money. Well, it's not the Oberlin way. Hand it over so I can read it. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed in the item menu, it actually has a little tiny drawing of Vera on it. Oh, oh no. I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't, didn't see that. that. Oh, man, you never actually considered reading the police report. This is why Vera is the criminal genius in your friendship. She mm. has the best costume, by the way. This yeah. is just awesome. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> It says here that after numerous failed attempts to bring me to justice for my many crimes, the Monsteropolis de pol or Police Department has dispatched an undercover officer to Spooky High School. Huh? Huh? Oh. Gasp! This can prove to be a serious inconvenience, unless I can identify the agent. It says here that their name is Officer Enchanted Armor. Oh, God damn it! you got my character. <laughs> is that a character? Oh, yes. so excited for you. It can be literally anyone. My money's on Liam. I've always suspected he was a suit of enchanted armor painted <laughs> purple and sent here to destroy me. <laughs> or perhaps it's... <gasps> what is that man? No, that's the one I've wanted ever since I saw him it's in the, the credits. It's the yeah. Steve Buscemi man. It's, it's the Black Knight. I love like him. him. Yeah, go ahead. He's got a skateboard. It's all you. Dude, hello, fellow students. God damn it. What a fine day it is for sharing casual goss. Any hot crimes we're doing this weekend? It, oh, yeah, Lord, I'm so cool. jealous. Yeah, that's how I talk Yo, he's kids. cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no sooner does Vera leave than Scott appears, his nose to the ground. Double it up, Daniel. Oh, hey guys, I just saw Vera leaving this place very quickly, and the last time I saw her leaving the place quickly, I found a lot of fresh, delicious meat inside. <laughs> but it doesn't look like there's any delicious meat this time, just normal, non-suspicious friends. Hello, friends. Sup, bruh? I don't know who you are, but you just used two words I use in the same order I use them. You must be really cool. That's literally Dan being friends with himself. Yeah, it's troubling. 
spinning, <laughs> spinning like things that are cool. Have you done the latest, most cool internet challenge on the World Wide Web? What, the Wile E. Coyote sign it's challenge? It's called snitching, and all the <laughs> rad youth are doing it. Oh, I love him so. Oh, man, I had no idea. Thanks for telling me. I don't want to miss out on this cool internet challenge like I missed out on the gallon of salt challenge. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do I do snitching? It's easy, dude. Just let me record you while you talk about your favorite Vera's crime. Oh, oh, I can do that. My favorite Vera's crime is... No, you can't let Scott... No, you can't let Scott sell out Vera. You've got to stop him. But you've got to do it subtly. Scott, wait. My Insta feed just told me that snitching is last week's challenge. The new hot thing is to record yourself opening up successful pizza restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Scott. Choosing a favorite crime... Wouldn't or couldn't be fair to all the great crimes Vera's done. The other crimes would be sad. Oh, oh, oh no, my heart. Um. Hmm. Rough. I want yeah. you to succeed so badly. I, like I think the, the top one's I like the smart. Bird Scott's tree. I do too. His weenie. Uh, yo, um, that skateboard. I think the bottom one's probably fun. I think this one's smart. So I'm going for it. Oh, creative. What? Wow, that was close. If Blora was so up on the hot new trends, we totally would have done a stupid old challenge. Yeah, that'd be like totally a tragedy. Now, instead of talking about boring old crimes, we get to open a pizza restaurant together. Isn't that great? <laughs> My commanding officer told me I'd have to do terrible things in this job, but I never expected this, bruh. <laughs> what was that? Cool, fun high school friend? I never expected this to be so fleek. I hate him. Fuck He's perfect. Sleepy. Sounds like you want to be the first investor in Scott's very good boy pizza. Oh, I need it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure that's a very sound investment, bruh. Oh, what? I thought you were cool, bro. I am cool. <laughs> I'm very extremely cool. I'm chilling, in fact. I suppose I could tap into my operational slush fund. I mean, regular high school money account. Hooray! And oh, looks like I'm getting a text message <laughs> from somebody named Not Vera. She says she wants to contribute $10,000 of totally clean money to my legitimate business venture for non-money laundering purposes. Curses! Always one step behind. Behind what? The trends! Which I care about because I'm a high school student <laughs> just like you, bro. I love oh. this man. Oh yeah! Trends are my favorite! Now let's go start a thriving business! Phew, that was close as a way of saying thank you for covering for her. Uh, <clears throat> establish another shell company. Vera kicks you back plus two money. You also gain plus one smarts. Dude, I love that I guy. am so happy right that now. That is so <laughs> swell. That dude rules. I'm so happy for you. I, I thought I was going to date the one that looks like Laura with the Pikachu mm. shirt. I didn't know whatever the hell that was would pop up. Oh, I'm, that's good. I'm, oh, I'm, officially, many, I'm officially not mad at you anymore. How many oh. actual characters are there that we haven't gotten? I don't know, a lot. Probably a lot. Really? And the thing that I want isn't even there anymore. What was it? What did you want? Uh, I was going to get Back the ring. Up. The ring was the only one I could afford. Oh, no. I mean, there's these ones. Or I could get the gift that keeps on giving. Do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do it. Uh, Satan, Satan, Satan. Suck, puppet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're so horrible. You have no friends. You can always make your own. Jesus. So, huh. so I have creativity now. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, then. Yeah. Crap. Wow. <laughs> Meow and Taft. All right, meow. So I've, I've tanked myself. Dude. <laughs> no, yeah, this is the beginning of the game. I bought mine at the end. That's where it really screwed me. Yeah, As, you lost stats to everything. Though. I mean, that's what just happened to me, basically. As they say, let's do that library. Uh, money. Yes, you hear a cry of uh, you hear a cry of anguish. It sounds like several of your friends getting their asses kicked at a video game, and it is. You find Scott, Damien, Liam, and the Slayer. They're playing Federation of Fables, the infamous super competitive MOBA. They spot you. Hey, Minecraft. We need your help. Minecraft. Hey, Minecraft. <laughs> we can't let these noobs win. It's true, they're so serious that we put our feud aside to team up against the greater evil. Thirteen-year-old brats that think they're better than us in FOF. We were kicking their asses, but they used their drunk to use their special secret skill on our mage that cursed him to roam the desert for 40 years in real life. FOF developers are crazy as fuck. This game is insane. 
We need to destroy their base soon, or we'll lose! Or you can trust me. I'm playing Wally Rex the Dino Diplomat. <laughs> I'm in negotiations with one of them. Reach an agreement, the senseless bloodbath will end in a peaceful truce. We need to destroy their base before Liam does his lame diplomatic thing! I'm Joe the Hole Digger! I'm digging holes mm. to see what happens! I might find a bone! <laughs> that won't help us. God damn it. No, not the Liam. Not the that won't help us in any way, Wolf Boy. <laughs> not the Damien Boy. Not if I can't find a super cool bone. <laughs> Damn. Come on, Marrow Taft. Join us alone. Let's fight the good fight. Yeah, Milk Craft. I just, <laughs> I just can't get over Dan's voice as Scott. It's so good. <laughs> now it all comes down to making the right choice. Which absurd character will be the game changer in this match? Scott, 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 Scott. Gary, the game developer, mighty creator of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> or no one to start dancing in a very stylish way that always solves your problems, doesn't it? Oh, uh, don't pick it. It's too close to Fortnite dancing. I know, but I feel like that's the most fun. It probably is. And this one's probably charming or creative, which I'm not. I'm only fun. <laughs> I'm only fun! What the hell are you doing? Do you even understand how this game works? Dancing isn't the solution for everything. Or is it? You must admit, they know their dance moves. All oh, right, you're a they. Thank you. Suddenly a message pops up on your screens. It says, sweet dance moves recognized. What? No time to ask. You need to keep your dance moves on point. What the fuck did the FOF creators take when they designed this goddamn game? <laughs> Perfect score. Victory by dance. Huh? Who knew? You can actually win by dancing. Quite an unexpected strategy. I applaud you. Kiss me, Liam. Fuck yeah, you rock. <laughs> Everyone joins your dance. Your victory dance is so good that the enemy team gets perma banned from FOF. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Way to Fortnite your way to victory, Laura. But... Let's trade places. But we should probably maybe do that, like, you know, next week. Next <laughs> week. Oh no, not next week. No, Two days. on Friday. Friday? Saturday, Sunday. <gasps> it lines up. Or not. Oh, it'll happen eventually. We'll see you in a fortnight. Ooh. Fuck off. Do we have any dessert? 